What's going on guys, John Elder here from Konami.com and in this video, we're gonna add search functionality to our air quality weather app with Python and Kinter. All right guys, in the last video, we added this color scheme so that it changes color based on the air quality and that we get that sort of right from the API. So green is good, orange is not so good, red is bad, etc. In this video, we're gonna add a search functionality so we can look up a specific zip code instead of having the zip code hard-coded in. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so what we wanna do now is add just a basic form that we can enter in a zip code, press a button, and it will look up whatever zip code we entered in. So pretty easy to do that. And we've looked at how to use entry boxes, text boxes, form boxes, whatever you want to call them in previous videos. So if you haven't seen that, go back and look through the playlist that's in the uh, comments below this video, and you can look up that video. Um, so let's just come down here and below our, this is a code that we worked on in the last couple of videos, our weather.py file. And I'm just gonna come down here and I'm just gonna create a label. And we can really call this anything we want. I'm gonna call it, I don't know, let's call it zip. And that's gonna be an entry box and it's gonna be in root, right? So that's really all we need right now. So let's go zip.pack to just pack this on the screen. And maybe a little bit later, we'll get a little bit more uh, interesting with the layout. But right now we're just gonna pack everything up on the screen just to get the functionality built in. So we also need a button. So let's go um, submit button or zip button. And that's gonna be a button. And we're gonna put that in root. And the text, probably spell root right. And the text for the button, let's go look up zip code, I guess. And it needs a command, so let's send this to the zip lookup function. Now we don't have a zip lookup function just yet. We'll do that in a second. So let's go zip button dot pack. And okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to create this zip lookup function. So let's do that up here at the top. And let's go create a zip code lookup function. So we want to define and we called it zip lookup. We don't need to really pass anything. So what do we want to do here for for now? Let's just go zip. So let's just inside of here, let's just go zip dot get. And uh, just to see if this looks right. So let's save this come over to our terminal. And let's run our app again. And you can see um, we need to do some resizing here. So, all right, let's close this and resize a little bit. So I'm just gonna come up here and let's just make this, I don't know, 600 by 100. So let's save this, come back, run our app again. All right, so we've got the current that's hard coded right in. And now we've got a, a form. If we type stuff stuff in, it doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, we could create a label underneath here just to make sure this is working. So let's do that real quick. So let's go inside of here, let's call a uh, zip label, maybe equals, this is gonna be a label and it's gonna be in root and the text is gonna equal, let's just go zip, dot get. Now let's go zip label and pack this onto the screen. Okay, so let's save this and run it just to see that this form is working correctly. So we can type in uh, 90210. Boom, it pops up. Now it doesn't change color. We haven't done that yet. But we can cl keep clicking this. And it just keeps popping up. Now that's because we've packed everything, right? So maybe we don't want to pack everything. So instead of that, let's really quickly 
just change everything over to a grid system. So we could just go grid and then, well, let's start here. Our first, the entry box, let's go grid and we want this to be row equals uh, zero, oops, no quotation marks, zero, column equals zero. And I'm just gonna copy this. And then our button, let's put this on the same line. So row zero, column one. And inside of our thing here, we want this to be a grid. And we want this to be row one, column zero. And let's get this a column span of two. So it at least spans both of those well yeah let's let's give that a try now all of this stuff we want to put this inside this zip lookup right because we don't want to hard code this anymore we just want this to uh to show up whenever we press the button to look up a certain zip code so i'm just gonna kind of look through here and let's grab all of this try and accept stuff, copy this, and let's put it inside of here. So let's see, we need to work on our indentation. So indent everything over. So, okay, so try and the accept are lined up. The stuff inside the try is all lined up. Okay, that's looking good. So now down here, we need to grid this too. So we want this to be row equals, um, what are we on now? One, well actually we just want this right here, right? Okay, and we don't want this anymore, or this, or this. We just did this in order to, um, you know, make sure the, the form thing was working. Now, this is what's gonna pop up, this thing right here. Okay, so now we need to change our API call, right? So find the zip code area here and put a quotation mark. Now we need to concatenate and we want this to be zip.get, whatever we put in the form, right? And we need to get rid of that hard-coded zip code and then quotation marks, so that looks good. Okay, so let's save this and run it. Let's see if I screwed this up at all. Very, very well might have. Okay, so now we have uh, just a very basic gray because there is no color because we haven't uh, added the zip code yet. So let's look up uh, 90210 Beverly Hills, North Northwest Coastal LA air quality is currently good. And you notice everything changed to green, which is what we'd expect. Now let's go to 89129. North Las Vegas air quality, I don't know why it's saying North, oh, that's, the Northwest from the, you can see it just put it on top of it, but it didn't clear what was already there. That's very interesting. We can mess with that later. Okay, but at least the functionality is working now and that's what we want. So, okay, this whole thing doesn't look great. It's not lined up right. This looks kind of goofy, right? We can play with this a little bit right now. I'm not gonna get into it that much in this video. We'll work on that in the next video. But for now, just a quick thing we could probably do. Let's see. Let's go back and find our button in our entry. And let's just give this a sticky of what? Uh, let's go west plus east plus north plus south. And we wanna do the same thing for the button. So if we save this, let's run this guy again, see what this looks like. And when we start out, it looks the same, but if we 90210 it, at least now there's not that gap between it and it sort of going the length of whatever has been returned, right? So if we change this to 89129, it still stays the same. Uh, let's run it again with an 89129 to start with. Okay, so it's this size. Now if we change this to 90210, everything kind of changes a little bit because this got bigger. 
And since the first one was smaller, the bigger one overlaps at all. So it looks like it's disappeared, but we'll need to work on that. Uh, like I said, in the next video. Okay, so coming right along, uh, not too bad. And again, I realize this doesn't look great, but we'll work on making it look pretty, you know, in the next video or so. All we really want now is just the functionality to make sure this thing works uh, correctly. So uh, 60610, my old Chicago air quality. Everything's good this morning, apparently. So, okay. Um, yeah, so pretty easy. You know, this is all review. We've already done entry boxes in the past. So, uh, you know, just sort of adding a little functionality and we'll build this out more as we move on. That's just what we looked at today. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. It is a one time fee, nothing more to pay ever after that. You get all my future courses uh, included at no extra charge. As soon as they're available, they pop right up and it's a lot of fun. So my name is John Elder from Konobi.com and we'll see you in the next video.